Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, the beauty of mathematics, part 48. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. As of July 1st, 2024, the total cryptocurrency market capitalization is coming in at approximately 2.333 trillion with a fair value logarithmic regression trend line at approximately 2.735 trillion. This represents an undervaluation of approximately 14.72%. So the idea about this chart is that it just shows the total cryptocurrency market capitalization. The red line is fit to all data. And then we have sort of an, uh, a green line at the top and the bottom sort of just show the general trend. And again, we go through periods of undervaluation and overvaluation. Well, we, we will be undervalued for years. Then we will go to being overvalued for years. We'll see a rotation of capital from certain parts of the market to other parts of the market uh, at various times. And we've talked a lot about that. And uh, we just keep on chugging along. And, you know, if, if you saw us go back up here to being slightly overvalued and you're somewhat discouraged that we are now back undervalued below this trend line, just know that it is fairly normal for that to happen. In fact, there was only one time where it didn't happen after sort of a long consolidation phase where we just went above it right away. And that was actually in 2017 where we didn't really get back above it. But once we did, we just kept on going up. If you look at last cycle, we got above it in 2019 and then fell back and then got above it in 2020 and then fell back. And then if you go to the cycle before that, we got above it in 2012 and then fell back and then got again above it in August 2012 and then fell back below it again. So again, it is a very common thing to see. Um, it's not that unfamiliar from what we've seen before. And if you look at the percent difference between the total cryptocurrency market capitalization and the fair value logarithmic regression trend line, which as we've said, is a monotonically increasing function, you get a chart that looks like this. And you can see that that red line, when it goes above that, it's going into that overvaluation territory. And a lot of times when it does that, it, 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 it comes back down, right? It sells off. It comes back down as the market digests that move. You can see it happened a couple times over here in 2011 and 2012. It did not happen in the 2016 cycle, right? Once we got overvalued in the post having year, we just went up. And then in 2021, we finally went up after a few failed attempts at doing so. Now, the interesting thing is when we went durably overvalued last cycle, it did not occur until really November, until Q4 of the halving year. The cycle before that, it did not occur until the post having year, about May of the post having year. And the cycle before that, it did not occur until about February of the post having year. So a lot of times you're not really seeing that durable overvaluation occur until sometime late having year or in the first half of the post having year, which again, I know weeks like this, or I guess right now, Bitcoin is up back up to about 63K, I, I think the last time I looked. Um, let's go take a look. Yeah, it's back above 63K. So I, I think a lot of people are, are, um, are going to be excited about that for sure. Um, but just remember, like, you know, if it, if it does end up being a, a boring summer, it's not unheard of, right? You know, I mean, it's not unheard of. We actually, you know, last summer was relatively boring. Could be the same this summer. I mean, it already kind of is, right? I mean, it's already July and the market still hasn't gone anywhere. Um, so we'll see. And in the short term, I think the main area to keep an eye on will just be that bull mark support band, 20 week SMA and the eight week SMA. We'll do another video on that maybe tomorrow. Um, but that is where we currently stand with the market, right? In terms of the overvaluation, undervaluation chart, just sort of that fair value logarithmic regression trend line showing how, how we are still slightly undervalued with respect to that trend line. And then if you look at it like this, um, it really just goes to show how it's more or less the same, same old, same old. Um, and as I've said before, I mean, the ultimate goal that I think will be to hit approximately 10 trillion for the entire cryptocurrency market capitalization, plus or minus a few trillion. And as we go to sleep at night, we cannot help but wonder what's a few trillion dollars among friends.